Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down Naya Slivers. We lost the die roll and we've got a pretty crummy hand. Don't want to keep this. Wow, my mulligans have been amazing lately. Alright, dump this. We'll dump one of these. We'll say done. Yeah, my mulligans have been bad. My last loss that I uh, went up against Boros Agro. Mulligan to four. Somehow managed to have some kind of a recovery with them, but uh, they still ended up winning in the, in the end. And it was all about that mulligan. But that was just a, a weak first hand to keep, honestly. We're already flooded out. I don't really like those. What is this? Mono green aggro? What is this? Tree folk and shaman spells cost one less. That's very specific. Very specific. Alright, lord it up. We can start attacking in. Let's see if they know what flanking is here. Alright, they have a clue. <laughs> okay, so boss baronet, two of them out. So can you play something for really cheap? Whenever a forest enters, it gets plus two till end of turn. Whenever you cast a tree folk battle wand, tree folk spell. So it can get pumped up quite a bit. Okay. Hmm. Well then. Can still attack in. I think I'm going to try to race here. We gotta, we gotta get some early pressure on them. For the hand that we had on a mold to four, we need that early pressure. So is this like tree tribal? <laughs> That's what it seems like. Edge of Autumn. If you control four or fewer lands, search your library for a basic land card, put on the, the shuffle library. All right, that's fine. So they'll get a pump on the oak. Uh, I'll probably get hit for three. I'm not super worried about here. So tree folk tribal, huh? All right, I'll I'll take the winding way. Let's get us another lord or something. Really step up the game. All right, cool. I'll take that. And we could also hmm. Do we want to dump anything else out? No. I just want to get aggro. I just want to get aggro. And they're taking it. They're going to five. We'll get this recovery from uh, Mulligan to four. Yeah, if we had like a couple extra creatures, we could just kill them with blade back. But uh, all right, we'll go to game two. So tree folk here. What are we seeing? What's going to be good against them? None of these? I think I'm just going to run it back. Yeah, let's run it back. I didn't see any targets for our sideboard. Not playing blue. They could have, like, moments piece in their deck, potentially. If it takes them a minute to get, like, online. Didn't see any removal. Didn't see any enchantments. Yeah, uh, we'll just run it back. We can keep this. Uh, at least it's got a lord. It's got some plays. And I'm okay with that. Elvish Pioneer. You may pay a basic land card. Okay. So they're ramping. And I'm flooding, which is not cool. Don't want to be flooding right now. If they put down one of their bannerets, then we can't even like, attack in efficiently here, which is a bummer. Ah, ooh, that is a beautiful looking card. Let me see you. Draw a card, reveal it. If it isn't a land card, discard it. Interesting. Interesting. 
And they're going in. Going in for one damage. Get it. Hmm. Double Viverlint going? I can dig that. We're just going to play out what we can play out right now. Uh, can't attack. But if we can get him with this double Viverlin. Okay. Darn, I really wanted to see how their deck played out. That seemed like it was going to be really interesting. We were, we were coming up on another Lord. So we would have just gone Lord Viverlin. Then we would have started attacking in. Um, let's say we would have lead the Stampede. Maybe grabbed a couple Lords here. I don't know what the math is on that, but... Uh, I think we would have been able to race them just fine. That's a short game, and I'm kind of bummed. Uh, I wanted to see more of their deck, but I guess they just didn't want to deal with the Sliver Host, huh? Eh, I don't know. Don't know if I should post this one. It's like one of these short games that they just give up on uh, in game two, but it is a. I, I like featuring new decks that I've never seen before or seem interesting or something, and so I may just post it just for that. So. If you don't mind me doing that on, on certain videos where it's like an interesting deck and they kind of like leave halfway through and it's kind of crappy gameplay for the most part, uh, but we're still talking about the deck and stuff. If, if you still don't mind that, leave a comment below. Let me know that you don't mind if I do that occasionally on, on new interesting decks. And, uh, and you know, it'll happen from time to th time. I think I did it in the past on an interesting deck, but I've never seen this one before. So kind of cool, you know, uh, Maybe it's just a little too slow for us still, but I, I liked what they were trying to do. I thought it was interesting. Uh, so I'll look it up and see if I can find a more official name for it. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe. Uh, we're trying to keep grinding away on the subscribers. So if you haven't yet, please do if you're enjoying Nia Slivers. And tune in next week uh, for more gameplay coming up. And we will see you guys in the next video.